will that crazy 12 percent that believes in this conspiracy be the determining factor in electing donald trump it's thursday february 15th there are 264 days left until america decides and chooses who will be the next head of state commander-in-chief and president of the united states there are two political parties in america the republican party and the democratic party did you know that they are also the first and the third oldest political parties in the world the republican party is the junior partner founded in 1854 and today in our country of 330 million americans 38 million of them are registered republicans slightly more than 10 percent of the actual population of the country one third of republicans according to polling believe that there is a conspiracy afoot involving taylor swift and travis kelsey to somehow fix the super bowl tie it into the general election and participate in some nefarious manner that will steal the election again from Donald Trump, if I understand the conspiracy correctly. Let's think about that number. One third of 38 million is a little bit north of 12 million people. And this lays out the choice in our country. Are 330 million of us in total going to be ruled over by our lowest common denominator? Will that crazy 12% that believes in this conspiracy be the determining factor in electing Donald Trump? Because that base is the hardcore MAGA core. And it's nuts. Donald Trump, who is utterly deranged, who is rooting for Vladimir Putin to take military actions in Europe that will start World War III and likely take with it the lives of many of the sons and daughters of people of my age who go to fight in the war. And they will go to fight in the war. 12 million people, 12 million crazy people in America. Now, the truth is, the crazy people just didn't spontaneously generate. We've always had crazy people in America. Yet at the same time, we've retained the wisdom to make certain that they never took control of the nation. It would have been much better for the world if a crazy faction of Americans were able to take the whole of the country hostage than it would have taken place when America was a much less powerful nation, not the world's preeminent one, its most potent nuclear power. Yet, that is the situation that we face. Across all of the history of humanity, there are only about 700 million people that have ever lived that can call themselves properly Americans. It's interesting to consider on the eve of America's 250th birthday and the anniversary of independence that half of all Americans who ever lived are alive right now, today. And the dominant, most powerful political faction, the one that has their hand on the throat of American politics, that has consumed the overwhelming amount of the nation's attention for the last eight years, that has powered an extremist element, that turned into a fascist movement is found in a minority. And this is always the case. The core of the Trump movement is relatively small. 13 million people. That's it. This is the business model of the cable companies. They're able to reach a faction of that 13 million a couple million on Fox, a couple hundred thousand on Newsmax. When you disaggregate it through social media, everybody gets a little piece. And it works exactly the same way on the Democratic Party side. 
And what this has done, plus the algorithm, is create a situation where everybody lives in their own bubble, their own delusion, and their own reality. They're disconnected from the concepts of Americanism and community and patriotism. And when patriotism weakens, the weed, the pestilence, the malevolence that comes in its place is nationalism. We shouldn't be surprised that there's 12 million people in this country who would vote for a rapist. Why would we be? We shouldn't be surprised that there's 12 million people in this country who believe the presidential election will be decided in a conspiracy between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. We shouldn't be surprised about any of it. The surprising part about it is that the overwhelming majority would allow through indifference this deluded, crazy faction to actually take political power and be the authors of our destiny and shape the future. Is it surprising that a third of Republicans believe this nonsense? The Speaker of the House of Representatives is a bona fide, full-on religious fanatic, a theocrat who believes people and dinosaurs walked around together 6,000 years ago. These people are nuts. And Donald Trump, the greatest demagogue of his age, a malignant narcissist, a sociopathic personality, a convicted rapist, a fraudster, has built a cult of personality around this core of madness. Nobody is asking anybody in America to quit their jobs, devote their lives to stopping this. But the way you stop it is to go vote a couple times a year, is to participate a little bit, to practice citizenship, because there's a difference between you and the crazy ass people that believe in the conspiracy between Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Those crazy ass people are going to go vote. They're going to vote in primaries and you're not. And so that crazy group, which is a third of the Republican Party in a much smaller percentage nationally, becomes the dominant percentage in a primary. And voila, guess what it produces? The Carrie Lakes of the world the Marjorie Taylor Greens of the world, the Lauren Boberts of the world, the Nancy Maces of the world. Cynicism yields insanity. Indifference yields fascism. What's happening in America is very real. Do the 40% of the people in this country who have $400 cash available, do they live in a democracy? Do they have choice, control, agency? Are they able to pursue happiness? I don't think so. Thank you for listening to my political commentary. If you like what you heard today, please also consider subscribing to The Warning, daily newsletter on Substack. Our democracy hangs in the balance. The 2024 presidential election is the most consequential in America's history. It's not hyperbole. It's a fact. That is why the mission of The Warning with Steve Schmidt is to help readers orient to the currents that are shaping our times and the unseen forces driving politics that are very rarely discussed on cable news. Please sign up at Steve Schmidt, S-T-E-V-E-S-C-H-M-I-D-T dot substack dot com. Again, Steve Schmidt dot substack dot com or at the link in the show notes section below thank you to each and every one of you for listening and watching